How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Silver and if you guys clicked on this video that means you have an interest on how to play Vanguard V series. That's right guys, I'm taking the popular concept of teaching you how to play a card game before the series is even out. So guys, if you are a Vanguard fan or are you new, this video is for both people. Vanguard V is a reboot of the original series called Vanguard. It's been out for about five to six years now, and they had a pretty steady season, and they decided to reboot it. So the V series is referring to its new arc. There are some rule changes and stuff like that, and we'll cover those as the video continues. So hopefully you guys will go on to enjoy this, and tell me what you guys think down below. If you want an episode two, let me know. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, and let's get into this. So I bet most of you are thinking that you knew you know what to do build a deck well you're getting a bit of ahead of yourself let's first start off picking up a new card game can be scary if you have never done it before and there's a lot out there there's like Yu-Gi-Oh, magic pokemon chaotic i'm running out of things other than vanguard to list buddy fight why schwartz dragonborn uh force of will inuyasha naruto there's there's so many out there you can't even stop but that brings us into this. Today we're going to discuss Vanguard and primarily just the V series, Vanguard V, and how rules have been modified and how cards are going to work and all that. But before we can get, get there, we have to go over how everything works. So again, like I said, I know it can be scary picking up a new card game. Uh, you may need to spend money on it if you don't have any friends that currently play, or if you and a group of friends are looking to play, you might have to spend money. Well, I'm here to help you with that. So, being that Vanguard V is just right around the corner in June, it's less than a month and a half away before the first trial decks are released. Um, this is why I want to cover this series. I want to get ahead of the bell curve and produce this awesome content for you. And right now, I bet you're thinking that I just need to get on to the point, how do I build a deck? Again, you're getting too far ahead of yourself with this. In Vanguard, there's a lot of different unique clans to the game. And I'm going to go over what a clan is. So, yeah. Stop being a noob. Just relax. Listen to me. And I will help you through this. So, clans are like what I guess you would call an archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic. They provide a certain way or play style for the deck to run. And unlike in those card games, you can no longer mix clans together. Unless a certain ruling is in there i.e. Blaster Dark being in a Royal Paladin deck, but that's more complicated stuff for the next episode. Um, I'm going to go over the four main clans that you'll have access to by the end of June and what will be considered the standard format. And that's what I'm really covering is just standard. I plan on doing a premium series eventually, but you won't have to watch this episode again because it's going to be how to play premium. So again, first is choosing your clan... And there's a lot of different clans. There's over 24 clans. I'm not going to go over all 24. Like I said, I'm just going to go over the four main that I stated earlier. And that's about it for today. So, yeah. Give me one second and we will continue forth with the clans. Yeah, here we are, guys. Back with the Royal Paladin as the first clan we're going to cover today. So, I'm going to read their little background and their play style and give you an overall of how this clan works and my thoughts on him. So, United Sanctuary's main focus is made up of human spirits, elves, fairies, deities, gods, and angels. So, Royal Paladins, they are the good guys and overall not terribly terrible people. Um, Royal Paladin's theme comes from Power of Allies, the superior call units from the deck or their allies. To gather rear guards really quickly, activate skills, gain high powers, and use a bunch of unique things. They also have the imaginary gift balance, which is used to add 10k power to a circle, a rear guard or vanguard circle. Very good, very powerful. Next, we're going to move on to Oracle Think Tank, another United Sanctuary clan. Um, it basically is the thinking clan. It's set up pre-game. So, Oracle Think Tank's main focus is increasing the player's hand size in order to keep guarding their opponent's assaults until they run out of resources. They also manipulate the deck to some extent to have more control over which cards they draw and know what 
their their drive checks are their keyword oracle which activates when a player has five or more damage and five or more cards in hand not damage damage you don't want damage the clan relies less on brute force than other clans instead of applying pressure by drive checking more triggers and res resisting the opponents restricting the opponents from guarding with their grade zeros and there's a whole bunch of unique clans again i'm not going to go over these because we don't know anything they have the imaginary gift protect which allows them when they are when the main vanguard rides to add a card to the hand that works like a perfect card so they are very much a self-defensive play style moving along we have kagero which is a popular clan um, Kagero's theme is fire and promotes the effect of focusing on burning the opponent's resources. They, their main way of, is by doing this is retiring units. Um, they have a bunch of keywords and a bunch of unique cards that work around them. I'm not going to cover them today, but Kagero is essentially, as, you, as Royal Paladin calls, Kagero likes to retire. And last but not least, we have one of my favorite clans, Nova Grapplers. Um, the playstyle of Nova Grapplers is... Fully focused on standing a standing on successful attacks, gaining more power from the stands. Many of their circles can stand after attacking, and some will gain more power. Their keyword is rush, which activates when stand due to an effect or a trigger. It is a very big playstyle. Um, yeah, and that's about it. Again, they have a lot of um, unique cards that I'm not going to go over. They also have the imaginary GIF Excel, which I don't remember, which that does right off the top of my head. I believe one protects, one adds balance and power. I forgot here. Let's, what's Excel do? Excel, Alfonso Strategy, these get a thousand power during your turn only. Um, yeah. They, they they gain a thousand power. I'll go over the gifts during the next episode during deck construction. Um, actually, I should probably go over the gifts now. So yeah, one second. Alrighty, so we are back and we're gonna go over each imaginary gift, which will affect how you choose the clan. Um, there are three different types of gifts: excel, force, and protect. These gifts can be attained through markers, which will be given to you by your main vanguard. Um, and each clan has a unique one. So clans that fall under the Excel, Excel clans, ex exception, Excel in offensive strategies such as aggressive attacks or continuous attacks. These markers are represented by the yellow color. Excel markers act as an extra front row rear guard circle, one that cannot boost. They are placed in adjacent to either the front row rear guard circle, uh, the the unit on the Excel circle gains 10k during your turn only. However, the cir the new circle remains during all turns. So that is actually really powerful. That means you can have more than five rear guards and three front row attacks. These clans that receive this unique are Aquaforce, Murakumo, Nova Grappler, which is a clan we covered just a little bit ago, Pale Moon, and Tachi Kaze, plus three other moors we have yet to see. The Force Marker is a unique clan. Is a unique one. Clans are focused in offensive and defensive. These markers are represent, represented by blue color. Uh, force markers act as power extroverts and are placed on van or rear guard under the circle or under the unit. The units on the force marker get 10k during your turn only. However, you are able to put multiple force markers on the circle. These clans that house the skill are dimension police kagero shadow paladin royal paladin spike brothers and four other clans and last but not least we have the protect which as i stated earlier clans are defensive strategy with impregnable f fortresses these markers are represented by the green color unlike the other gift markers protects are put to your hand and obtained where they act as perfect guards during your dart step you may reveal one from hand then place it on the guard circle discard a card from hand and one of your units may not be hit until end of battle the clans that house this are angel feather dark irregulars grand blue mega colony and oracle think tank again another clan we had cover earlier already so overall um let me just give you this bit of advice before we leave 
because this video is going to be long and hard to edit as is. Um, with Even with 24 clans, I feel like entering this new standard will be the best for most of you. Stick with my channel. You'll see the new cards. I will be covering the decks as they come out. Um, picking up these decks will be easy to learn and cheap, being that over we have an over 200% increase in pre-orders this year. So just stick around for a bit. You'll learn in the next episode how to build your deck. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I will give you the generic deck skeleton. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Peace.